I'm Andre Huey for SK Newsline and earlier on Friday members of the Westline Bus Drivers Association would have had a meeting right in that area there and you'll be seeing footage and photos of that, that the gathering um, which was held earlier on Friday in this report and uh, basically they've had a meeting to discuss the recent uh, measures announced by the government that restricts bus drivers to only 50% capacity. Now this is as a result of the government's attempt to stem the spread of coronavirus uh, with the latest outbreak that just happened uh, last week. We've now seen 19 active cases the last time uh, we've gotten a, a report from the government. Now essentially the bus drivers are discussing the plan of action. They're not in agreement with the measures. They say that that is negatively affecting their uh, revenue and so they believe that the government should have had a meeting with them to discuss the matter before making the measures public. We had a chance to speak to the president of the Westline Bus Association, Mr. Nicholson Rambo Webster. This is what he had to say in an extensive interview we had with him after the meeting. Well, we are concerned about a number of issues. Firstly, we are concerned about the fact that none of the government agencies has called us to discuss their decision and the reduction of passengers as it relates to the community spread. If you're going to make a decision that would affect the bus industry, I expect that we will have a conversation and we will come up with a formula that will work for everybody and keep the, the, the people in the country safe. But if you're going to just up and do things, it means that you don't have any regards for us and that is an issue. Right. Now, what are some of the challenges that the bus drivers have with the decision? being by the government to allow only half 50 percent of capacity well first of all the 50 percent of the capacity there's a big issue in terms of how some of the buses are configured and if we had again sit down and work up this the government would have known that all the buses them are not the same so you, you cannot just paint all of them with a broad brush and say 50 percent because all of them are not the same and then they're not even saying 50 percent now they're they are saying seven they're calling a number all buses do not carry the same amount of people and that that have a, 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 a serious impact on, on, on the, the, the bus fraternity. Mm. So what decision did you guys come to? Well our decision is that we are going to put together a proposal to send to the government. That is what we, 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 we decide to do. The other issue we have is that we know several bus drivers uh, in quarantine and and we are concerned about that because in the manner of which it has been done because if you're gonna call a bus driver and um, tell him to go home and park up and then when he asks a question you're not willing to answer any question it means that any one of us could be targeted by someone who jump on a bus and are, are not really even sure of, 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 of which bus because we get that a lot in the bus fraternity somebody forgets something on a bus and they're not sure which bus so which means your name can be easily mixed up with somebody else's own and you're off the road for two weeks for no reason um and a lot of people are asking whether the bus drivers gonna strike can you say definitively whether or not the bus drivers are gonna go on strike at any point well i i am not in any position to say whether or not we will have a strike because I am the president and I always do things in a way where democracy, in my view, is, is, is at heart. So if majority of the bus drivers say to the president, look, this is the way we want to go, then, then that is the action. But for now, I am not um, doing or supporting any industrial action. Okay. Um, how soon you intend to get the proposal to government? Well, we will we will try and get it um, together at least by Monday. Will the other associations be involved as well, or is it just going to be Westline for now? Well, well, right now we we had this meeting, and it's a joint meeting between the Westline Bus Association and also the Sugar City Bus Association. I don't know what the Monkey Hill or the East Line um, doing for their members. We are just trying to look after our members here in the Westline because we seem to be the ones that are targeting most. There's also a discrepancy in, in, in terms of the numbers because some people are saying this, those on the east and those in Monk Hill are allowed to carry this and Westline only allowed to carry seven, seven. All this confusion again is because no one has sat down with us to work out anything. 
So there you have it there, Nicholson Webster, better known as Rambo to many people, uh, the president of the West Line Bus Association. And he basically outlined that they will be submitting a proposal to government um, as early as next week, Monday, as it relates to the measures announced for bus drivers. In the interim, we'll continue to monitor to see whether or not the bus drivers will go on strike, what the other bus associations will be doing, and whether or not this issue will be resolved. Reporting from Bastyr, St. Kitts, for SKN Newsline, I'm Andre Hewitt.